Long-Term Studies from the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans by Ambari's Dr. Ken Smith and his colleagues show that changes in conditions at the surface of the ocean affect biological communities in the deep sea. Microscopic plants called phytoplankton form the basis of the oceanic food web. Natural and human-caused climate changes influence the availability of nutrients to shallow water phytoplankton, causing fluctuations in their numbers. This causes variation in the amount and quality of food supplied to the abyssal plain. This immense area of muddy seafloor covers 60% of the Earth's surface, making it one of the largest habitats on Earth. Organic matter from phytoplankton and the larger animals that feed on them falls to the deep seafloor. Although less than 5% of this debris reaches the bottom, it's the primary food source for organisms living at deep depths. Waste products in the form of small pellets can aggregate with other organic material and be carried to the seafloor. In this time-lapse camera series, you can see aggregates collecting on the bottom 16,000 feet below the surface. Deep sea animals like sponges, sea cucumbers, urchins, and fish live far away from food sources in shallow water above. However, recent studies show that these two environments are connected. When food production increases or decreases in the upper ocean, we see the effect in the deep from weeks to months later. For example, these deep sea recurred fish have been shown to respond to a fluctuating amount of food. Between 1989 and 2004, they doubled in number. This change can be attributed to both climate variation and commercial fishing practices in shallow water. Some sea cucumbers had large, stable populations for a 10-year period, but nearly disappeared after 2002. These studies show that shifts in the health and abundance of shallow water organisms due to climate change could have dramatic consequences for deep sea animals.